So what we have here is it's called a bulldog, and we're sucking the, in this case, the cab from these oak barrels into a 330 gallon tank where we're doing a blending today of the uh, cab Merlot and uh, about a half a barrel of mull back in this thing. Got a bleeder. That's, that's good stuff. <laughs> Today we're blending uh, 12 different barrels in two of these 330 gallon tanks. Um, I have my list here of what's going into what tank. Basically this guy is connected to a nitrogen tank and the nitrogen is pushing the wine out and into this hose and into one of our big tanks. So this is the cab of our cab Merlot Malbec from Paso. Uh, they've been sitting in these, these neutral barrel here for uh, well over a year. The, the Malbec's gonna add a lot, of, a lot of weight to this when it's ready to go. Uh, the cab itself is already pretty uh, thick and heavy. So today, since we're doing a blend, this is all finished wine. Because it's really high quality and it's all finished, we wanna make sure that the wine is protected from oxygen. So we're using nitrogen here in this line. This is gentle and it also protects the wine the whole time. I'm just watching, this is our sight glass here. Um, you can see it's all wine. Sometimes I use my flashlight, just get a better look. You can kind of see through it. There's no sediment in there, so we're good. So if you guys can't already tell, I'm pregnant <laughs> with my first. It's fun to have a little buddy with me all the time. So right now I'm 27 weeks, so that's almost seven months. I'm gonna turn this off. There we go. Um, and we're having a boy. <laughs> I'm just slowly releasing the pressure and then I might open this valve again to kind of let it out. about 10 barrels now um, filled a whole tank and mostly that one and um, yeah we have three more cab barrels actually two more cab barrels to go looks good smells really good tastes really good I'm excited for you guys to try it I just transferred the bulldog to a new barrel and I'm tightening it down this is a little bung and um, so it's gonna be airtight and then I can gas it. And it basically, um, there's so much pressure that the wine has nowhere to go but out. I don't know if you guys can see the surfboards behind me if you notice them, but they're here because after work, my husband Ace and I like to surf. Um, we live here in San Clemente and um, that's our favorite thing to do together. I'm Ace, Kylie's husband. She's teaching me how to do barrel work right now. It's pretty fun. I'm gonna open the gas up. So we're in the warehouse in San Clemente, California. We're just about ready to top this off, so we're gonna have to watch it a little bit closely. Hopefully, after we get topped off, we're gonna do a little wine tasting and see how the blend turned out. Kylie specifically has uh, been very good at being able to bring together these different flavors. In fact, these barrels here, this is pretty much where the, uh, the Fernando came from. So this is one of our, our favorite parts of the job, is we, uh, we bring in a bunch of samples from uh, some of the vineyards up north. These are all from Mendocino as an example. Some of them will go 100% with, and some of them will blend. This is all Kylie's doing, so she, uh, she created it, we, uh, and we're pretty proud of it. Um, uh, the winemaker up in Paso was pretty happy with the with the individual wines he sent us, but we really saw uh, an opportunity to make a, a great blend out of it. We probably tried it six or seven different ways. We sat there with a beaker and uh, with a 100 milliliter beaker and did a, a number of different combinations to, uh, to come up with this particular blend. 
and uh, they were all good, but yeah. uh, we yeah. all thought this was the best. Yeah. Oh, I'm really happy with this wine. All of the varietals individually were super good. It was tempting not to just have them as single varietals, but um, yeah, I'm really happy about this Fernando blend, and um, it was really fun doing the work with the barrels, and yeah. So, you know, Fernando, um, part of the fun is naming the wines. And in this case, Fernando is a, uh, a very prevalent name in, in Sylvia's side of the family. Her father is a Fernando. She's got a brother who's a Fernando, uh, a nephew who's a Fernando, to Grandpa Fernando and, uh, and all the Fernandos. I love the Fernando. Um, after all, it is named after my dad and my brother and his kids. And um, I just absolutely love it. Loved it from um, the first sip. Fernando. 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 <laughs> to my dad. 3,000 bottles. <laughs>